All right, so scientific equipment. Scientific notation is when you have a number that looks like this. And you want to write it somewhere without it looking so horrible. <laughs> I mean, you want to be able to write it in your equations and use it pretty often. Um, so, do you understand just kind of how it works? I think so. You move the decimal place over, you get rid of the zeros basically. Mm -hmm. um, for every one you move over, that's times 10 to that you know, power. Yeah, so starting here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what would your final number be? 7.465. And at that point, you can, I mean, you can keep all those if you want to, but a lot of times the reason they'll shorten it is they'll also take off some of that accuracy. Okay. Because a huge number like this, I mean, it, it, it might be accurate to clear out here, but so it this might not. ties into significant figures as well. I, I suppose right. it's a combination of these two that I'm having trouble with. Okay, so in this case where it gave you this number, absolutely, you can keep every one of these significant figures. How many significant figures do you have here? Um, all of them? Um, if we did this... Okay, I see. It would be all of them. Okay, so without, let's see, one, two, three, seven? Yeah, yeah. because when you have a huge number like this, these zeros don't count. They, they're trailing zeros. And that's like, that's like if you walk into a room and you say, how many people are in here? And you say, well, it's probably about 300. You, know, you don't know for sure that it's 300. If you'd said it's 298, then for sure those three are accurate. But if you just say about 300, then you can really only keep just that first one is significant. The other two, they they represent kind of an estimation. Right. So when they give you a number like this, chances are it's probably actually maybe like this nine six three four seven two. But they just didn't. They said, "Well, why don't we just round? We'll just leave it and round it." Okay. So you got your seven significant figures. So when you write it with with scientific notation. You'll just do this times 10 to the 12. Okay. And what about, say we have a number like this, 0 0.0005607321. Yeah. How would you write this in scientific notation with the correct number of significant digits? Um, let's see. The five point six zero oh seven three zero. Yep. To the negative fourth power. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you're not really having trouble with these. You just. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. Just, I'm getting just, lucky. Is what's happening. <laughs> no, no, I, it's it's as simple as that. You know, you just count how many places you're moving your decimal point. And as you get as you use them more often, you'll kind of recognize, and you'll start to say, okay, at three it's a thousand, six it's a million, nine it's a billion, and, you know, and then you'll see the opposite direction too. Mostly, I think I was just a little iffy on where when to keep the zeros, mm -hmm. and when to get rid of them. So why do we keep this zero? Because someone took the time to figure it to that point. Yeah, yeah. So this is a typically zeros at the end of a number. Like these ones are to the right, but they're to the left of the decimal place. Right. So they they don't represent accuracy. This this zero is on the right side of the decimal place. Even though it's trailing, it's at, at the end of the number. Mm -hmm. If it's on the right side of that decimal place, you can keep it. Because yeah, somebody did take the time to say this isn't point zero 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 five six zero seven three. And then this kind of varies. It's absolutely definitely got a zero there. 
So we're gonna we're gonna show that. Okay. And then the same goes for this one. So you have three hundred, about three hundred people. How many significant figures do you have there? One. But what if you say we have three hundred point zero molecules of oxygen or something like that? Then we have three. Um, or four. Yeah, so we have four. So you, the three counts. Anything that's a number counts automatically. Okay. And then your trailing zeros count if they're on the right side of a decimal place. That's right. Okay. And then any zeros in between. So like in this number, we said we have one, two, three, four, five, six significant digits, but we counted this zero and this <laughs> zero. This zero counts because it's in the middle. Right. This zero counts because it's the end, and it's also to the right of a decimal place. Okay. Decimal point. Okay. So then what if we... I mean, you can try to make it more complex, but really all it is is saying, let's add some more zeros somewhere. How many significant digits do you have? Four. And what would it be in scientific notation? 5.820. Let's see. One. <clears throat> 10. 10 times 10 to the 10. Yeah. Negative 10. Let's, let me check this. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Exactly. So, so 10 to the negative 10. Okay. 